Hi everyone, it's Albert. Today let's solve the contest median question, restore the array from adjacent pairs. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be constantly solving good and classic legal questions with clear explanation, animation, and visualization. Now let's look at the question. For this question, there is an integer array nums that consists of n unique elements, but we have forgotten it for some reason. However, we do remember uh, every pair of adjacent elements in the original array. And we are given a 2D uh, integer array adjacent pairs of size n minus 1, and that each item in adjacent pairs is an array of two elements, uv, that uh, it indicates the elements uv, they are adjacent in the original array's nums. And it's guaranteed that every uh, adjacent pair of elements, uh, nums i and nums i plus 1, they will exist in adjacent pairs array. But the pair can appear in different order. So given adjacent pairs array, we have to reconstruct and return the original array nums. And if there are multiple solutions, we can return uh, any of them. So for example one, the adjacent pairs array is uh, 2, 1, 3, 4, 3, 2. And the original array is uh, array 1, 2, 3, 4. In example two, the adjacent pairs is 4, negative 2, 1, 4, negative 3, 1. And the original nums array is negative 2, 4, 1, negative 3. And for example 3, the adjacent pairs array only has two elements. So that would be exactly the original nums array. And data constraint, the length of the adjacent pairs array can go up to 10 to the power of 5. And the intuition to solve this question the first step is to build a graph uh, data structure, which is a hash map from adjacent pairs. And in this hash map, the key will be every node or every item in the nums array. And then the value will be the left or right neighbor of that node in the nums array. And next, we can use a DFS that first search to reconstruct the original nums array from the graph. So the main data structure to use for this question is graph, which is also a hash map. Now let's look at the code. Okay, and first step is to create the graph hash map. And here we can use uh, Python's collections default dictionary to create a graph G. And then we will loop through adjacent pairs array and then append the node and neighbors into G. And next, we have to find a starting point. And the starting point can be either the head or the tail in the nums array, which is the first or last element. And once we found the head or the tail, we will make it the starting point. And next, we will need a visited set to check at which nodes have been visited. And then the rest array to append the nodes and then return at the end. And finally, is to uh, DFS into the graph and then append the nodes into REST and return at the end. Now let's see the code in action. Okay, and here we'll be looking at example two. The input adjacent pair is four, negative two, one, four, negative three, and one. So with a given adjacent pairs array, we can create a graph uh, looking like this. And you can notice that uh, key negative three and negative two, they only have uh, one neighbor, which means that they are either the head or the tail in the original array. So we can pick uh, either one of them to be the starting point. And here we'll pick a negative two at start. And next is to start DFS. And the first DFS call is DFS uh, negative two. 
and negative 2 will be added into visited since it has been visited and then append negative 2 into rest and the next DFS call is the neighbor of negative 2 which is 4 and at DFS 4 uh, following the same process we will add 4 into visited and rest array and the left and right neighbor of 4 is negative 2 and 1 and negative 2 has been visited so it will be skipped so the next uh, DFS call is DFS 1 and at DFS 1 again add 1 into visited and rest and the neighbors of 1 is 4 and negative 3 4 has been visited so the next call is DFS uh, negative 3 and at DFS 3 the same at negative 3 into re visited and rest and up to here we have visited all the nodes in the graph so we will return a rest negative 2 4 1 negative 3 which is the output for this example and this will conclude the algorithm Finally, let's review. So the main idea to solve this question is to build a graph hash map from a JSON pairs array. And the key of this hash map is a node in the array. And then the value is the neighbors, the left and right neighbors of that node. And then we can use DFS to reconstruct the original nums array from the graph. So the main data structure to use uh, for this question is a graph data structure which is also a hash map and time and space complexity of this approach are both linear and that will be all for today thanks for watching if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one